Hello everyone. Back on our normal route today. We're just going to go through this gate and then, hello, Lillian usually puts her brakes on. Let's see if she does it today. There you go, every day. <laughs> Come on. You love it once you get going. Come on. Oh, she's a pain. Come on. Come on. I shouldn't laugh, but I've just watched a lady go up a hill on her bike, and it was ever so funny. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'll tell you what, the grass is not very good today. It's all gone damp and yellow. Oh, hang on, there's a good patch. Can you see me? I'm quite camouflaged. I've just got back from my dog walk and I've looked at my phone and I have got a message from DPD saying that they're going to deliver the ginormously large advent calendar for James today between 4.24 and 5.24 p.m. So it's going to come today, so we'll be here on time. Which is such good news. I really thought it had, it was gone, but it's not. Oh, I've got quite a lot of cleaning to do today before I can get on with my work. But first I'm going to have a cup of tea, Lillian. Um, have a little read of this book because I'm so close to finishing it. I could have finished it last night, but I was a bit tired. And then I'm going to get on with some sewing. I might finish those polar bears. Right. I'll see you all in a little while. Baby Ian's waiting for his treats. He hasn't had any today yet. Oh, that was good. You clever boy. You definitely deserve some now. I've just finished another three of my Paula bears. So this is a new one. They look a little bit like Rupert, don't they? Is Rupert a polar bear? Hmm. Don't know, I'll have to look that up. So, this one here, you saw this one yesterday. We've got this one. And this one. This one does remind me of Rupert. I don't know if it's because of the outfit, but all the bears are all standing together now. Pat's furious that she's not dressed yet. I'm going to look up and see if Rupert is a polar bear. James has bought me for my birthday a new indoor cage for the guinea pigs, so I'm going to go and get them in. The last one that we had was, well, it needed an upgrade. So I think I'm going to go and get them now. Why not? First of all, we've got Patsy. Here she is. She didn't want to be caught. And I can see that she needs her toenails clipping again, James. Mm. Your favourite job. So I'll have to do those once she's settled in and used to her surroundings. Right, are you going to go in, Pats? And now we've got Lovely. Lovely's hard to catch. She's not as confident as Patsy. Oh, are you going to go in? Well, it's finally Vlogmas, isn't it, everybody? The guinea pigs are in the cage in the house. That's it. She's found her. Listen at her talking. Oh. What do you think, Ian? He has seen him before, James, outside. Hello, Patsy. Lovely. My mother in law has been round, and I've been a bad, bad person, and I've opened. <sighs> all of my birthday presents. <laughs> I've got two more advent calendars. So I've got this one, the Kath Kidston one. She buys me this every year and I really look forward to it. It's got my favourite scent of hand cream in this and body wash and body lotion. And I've also got this tea advent calendar as well. And it's got a different flavour every single day. 
So I'll look forward to that. So I've now got four advent calendars. Have I got four, James? Yeah, I've got four. Lucky, aren't I? And I've realised we haven't bought the children one. They were going to buy themselves a fancy one each, but they couldn't decide. So look, I've got some new knitting books. I've always wanted this. So maybe what a start something new tonight which i could do i've got this lovely apron which i'm going to use as my work uniform and then i've got all these lovely books here loads of knitting books now there was one thing here i think it might have been in this one no it weren't in that one i think it was this book here oh look you know I'll love that, don't you? It was that's lovely, but it was this one. This pattern here. That little cardigan, can you see it? Let me hold it up here so we don't get the glare. I love that. And it uses, I think I saw um a hundred grams of lace. And I've got 100 grams of lace. I've got that one. And then I've got Mouston Abbey. In here, I've got a box full of 90s and slippers. You know, I like 90s and slippers. And then I've got loads of lovely stuff over here to eat tomorrow. And all these lovely books. And in here, I've got some more tea. All these different ones that you put through up in a lovely coffee pot. And a mug. Yeah, I've opened everything. My Slim and World friend come round as well and she bought me a present and I've opened that as well. <laughs> I am tracking the living daylights out of this advent calendar that I've got for James. I'm so excited to show you and for him to see it, but I'm a bit worried that it's going to show up just as he goes out the door. I might ask him if I can still open it. I'm not opening the doors, just the packaging. I'm sure he'll say yes. Come on, crack it open. I just got a message saying that this was not coming today. Woohoo! <laughs> That's a spoiler. Don't open that, James, because that tells you all the ingredients in case you're allergic. Right, we'll get it out and then we'll show you all. There you go. Can I open it? That's James's advent calendar. Come stand next to comparison. it so that you can, people can see no, how big it. Or I'll there. stand. There you go. Put your arm over it or something so you can see how big it is. Can we open it? Yeah. Put the phone down and we'll open it up and then we'll. Oh, stop it! I know you're filming me close up. <laughs> Look at that. So it's food, but it's full-sized food. Where's number one, James? I hope the last day's a turkey. Yeah, it might be a turkey. What? Open it now. Go on. It's not the no. day one. You get one whole food thing a day. Full size. Not like a little old jar of jam like I had. I don't know if you can really take in how big this is. You can't go near it, Lizzie, because you've got your thing on. You can, if you cover it up, you can go near it. Achieve your dreams. Look at that. Ginormous. Where the hell are we going to put it? It says, I don't know how to say it, that thing that means Christmas. Well, does. I can't take it all in. Like so it. I better just say, guys, obviously this is not gifted, not paid. No. <laughs> That's what people say, James. Send me an advent calendar. No one, exactly. Well, apart from me, I bought this as, for James as a present because I thought it'd be absolutely hilarious. And I think it is. Well, no. oh, I can't wait to open it up. He's gone. What do you reckon's in number one? I have actually got the spoiler thing. No, I can't, I can't. So if you think it's bad that I've opened my birthday presents, what about this then? I've opened a Christmas present and I've knit it all up. You know I said that I was casting something off the other day. I'll show you what it was. I've had to move rooms, it was too dark in there to show you the proper colour. So this was a Christmas present 
from Suzanne from Green Lambkin Yarn. It's called Mrs Santa Claus. Lovely and sparkly. And I've made with it... Oh, I've chucked it on the end of the table. <laughs> Some wrist warmers. Long wrist warmers. Of course, uh, I've realised... Oh, my nails look blue, don't they? Ooh. Well, sure, I'd a sats monitor. I'd like to check to see if I'm all right or not. Then again, that ring looks blue as well. I think it must have something to do with my camera. But this looks pretty normal. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, this is the Dynamite Mitts pattern by Kay Jones. And these are extra, extra long to walk the dogs in. I'll tell you about them more when I do my next podcast. But I've done them without the thumbs because I need to be able to slip them down when necessary when I've got no beating around the bush when I've got a bag of poo because I don't want them that to touch my nice stuff so and also I need to be able hello Doug to whip them down quite quickly so I've done them without the thumbs and I've just left a hole but I'll tell you more about them when I do my podcast but I just thought I'd show you isn't it lovely oh Doug you're too old for playing it's really nice, isn't it? All right, I'm going to come and say goodnight to you now. I'm now back over here. I'd quite like to cast something new on tonight, but I'm not going to, because I'm getting on really well with the shawl that I'm knitting at the moment. So I'm going to carry on with that, because I'm very, very nearly at a garter lace section of it, but I'll show you that another day as well. Oh, it's so nice having the guinea pigs in again. Ian is fascinated by them. I'm, don't worry, I'm keeping an eye on everything. Everything's fine. He can't take his eyes off of them. I don't know what he thinks they are. They, they're guinea pigs, Ian. Guinea pigs. I feel a bit stressed. I've ordered... And, oh, I, I, I can't bear... Actually, I shouldn't have said that. I'm not stressed. Because that... Compared to other people's problems, this is very, very minor. So I take that back. What word can I use instead? I'm flustered. That's better. More appropriate. Um, I've ordered some fabric and it's got caught up in the strikes. So I can't finish off the bags that I've um, made for my shop update, which is why I haven't shown you any yet, because none are done. Of course, the spare fabric that I've ordered to finish them all off has just not arrived. I didn't realise there was a strike again today, and I've been sat, look, not sat, that makes me sound like I've been doing it. Well, I have been sitting, because I've been finishing off the polar bears. But I've been waiting for the postman all day, and then it got to about half eleven, and I thought, where's the postman? And then I checked, and it's a strike again today, and a strike again tomorrow. So, yeah, I just feel a bit behind. Flustered, flummoxed. Yeah. Oh well. It's my birthday tomorrow, and one of the presents that I asked for from James was for him to walk the dogs in the morning. <laughs> so I want to have a bath um, first thing in the morning. I want to get out of bed and have a nice bath. That's what I want to do. I'd like to put pyjamas on, but I can't do that because I've got to pop out for a little while tomorrow. I'll put them on when I get home, though. I sort of wish I hadn't have opened all my presents, but my mother-in-law knows that I opened them and she encouraged me to do it. She's like me. She opens all her stuff early as well. Right, I'm going to go because I've got to do a lot of sorting out in that room over there. Um, and I want a cup of tea. What else did I... Oh, yeah, we're going to start our testing tomorrow. Did you hear the guinea pig? I wonder which one it was. Which one was it, Lillian, hey? She's guarding them. Um, we're starting our testing tomorrow with Stollen. We've got five different varieties so far, but I'm going round town. One day next week, I've got to do some shopping, and I'm going to go in every single place that I can think of that would sell them. So I'm going to go and get some more. And I've got to go to Tesco, Big Sainsbury's, Aldi, Morrison's, and I've got to have a look in Asda as well. 
Oh. Right, I'm going to go. I'll see you all tomorrow. Not too early, though, because I'm going to have a bath first thing, and you don't want to see that. Night-night. See ya.